you know that we love our IOD transfers. What I want you to know is you can get so many different looks from just one transfer. This is new from the IOD spring release. Today I'm gonna to take you on a little journey and I'm creating all of these risers to show you how Joie de Roses can get so many different looks just from one transfer on different paint colors. It's so cool how you can take one transfer and change the look of it by breaking it apart and applying it over different colors. We started by cutting apart these 200-year-old barn wood beams. JR's had them sitting around the barn for quite some time. And then we added legs to them. We used old candle cups and I stained them with Debbie's DIY Dark and Decrepit Liquid Patina. We also made legs from little chunks of spindles on a few of the risers. I'll be giving each of these a few coats of paint with fusion mineral paint. Remember that when you're painting over raw wood, it'll lift the grain a little bit, so you want to sand between coats for a nice smooth finish. This is also going to make your transfer apply more easily. I asked myself, what if I put this transfer over this color or that color? And I tried to select a variety of colors so that I could see what different effects I would get with the Joie de Roses transfer. The eight sheets of transfers are meant to fit together if you want to create one whole pattern, but I'm not going to do that since I'm cutting apart the transfer into smaller pieces. Later on, you'll see that I'm going to have to piece quite a few of these to make them work on each of the risers. As I'm fitting the transfer sheets onto each of the risers, I'll trim away any excess and save those bits for later. You can also distress the transfers with a bit of worn sandpaper. On this piece, I wanted to make sure that I'm measuring to get the center because I'm using that little emblem and I'll need to match up the other side accordingly. You can see here where I'm trimming away the excess with an X-Acto knife right along the edge of the board. The paint I'm using is Fusion Mineral Paint. I love this because it has a built-in top coat and it really does make for great adhesion with these transfers. I've listed all of the colors and the other supplies that I've used in the description box below. Kathleen said she had some things of mine A chair, a book, and a little gray piece of paper After you have applied the transfer, burnish it with one of the backing sheets. Just rub that over the surface so that you make sure that you've got complete adhesion. I think that when you take apart a transfer like this, it makes for a great way to extend the use of it. And if you are working on booth projects or things for your shop, what a great way to maximize the impact of that one transfer and spread it out over several pieces. You could actually just go assembly line and get lots of projects done in one sitting.
A chair, a book, a little gray piece of paper. She told me she had met a friend of mine. And Tommy was the person. When I'm working on a project like this, I literally save every single bit that I trim away because you never know where you'll be able to use it on another piece. After I had applied all the Joie de Roses transferred that I could, I ended up adding a few more butterflies from the Entomology transfer by IOD just to cover up any of my little mistakes or just to add a little extra flutter and life to these risers. Of course, when you're done, go ahead and apply the finish of your choice. Here I'm using our Funkature Rock Hard Top Coat because it's a waterproof finish. You can also seal your transfers with a good furniture wax. And then of course, here's how I use these risers. I use them just for display pieces, for creating a centerpiece, stacking candles on them, making little vignettes, uh, prettying up a shelf, it's just a nice way to add a little color and pattern into your decor. Thanks for hanging out with us today at Allen J Goods. We'd love it if while you were here, you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment to let us know if you dare to cut apart a transfer. You can find us at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York.